Hello and welcome to this video on predicting the electronic configuration where we're going to look at how the electronic configuration can help you work out the period and the group from the periodic table. So if you had a question like this which says sodium is in period 3 in group 1, what does this tell us? The key things are the period actually tells you the number of shells that you have to draw. So it's in period 3, I draw 3 shells. The group tells me the number of electrons on the outer shell. So I put 1 in this case there then all you have to do is follow the normal rules knowing that you have two in the first shell, eight in the second shell and eight in the third. So we put two in our first, eight in our second and then I've already got my outer shell because I've been told that by the question. So in summary then, what you guys need to be able to remember is that the period is the number of shells you have to draw. The group is the number of electrons you put on the outer shell and then the rest is just filling it in based on the rules. So two in the first, eight in the second, eight in the third. So if you're given the example of carbon and told that it's in period two and group four, straight away you know you need to draw two shells and then you need to put four electrons in the outer shell and then fill in the first shell with the normal rules. And your written configuration is 2.4. Okay, let's have a look at a couple of questions then. So this one says, look at the diagram below, explain what group this element is in and what period this element is in. Both of those questions are worth two marks. Have a think through the video you've just watched, pause the video and have a go. I'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's have a look. So the first one then, explain what group the element is in. Now, if you remember, the group is all down to the number in the outer shell. So the first mark is for saying it's in group one. And the second mark is for the explanation of why it has one electron in the outer shell. The period is all to do with the number of shells. So we're in period three. And the reason for that is we have three shells. It should be nice and straightforward. Hopefully you've done well there. If you have, have a go at the review section, which will end this video. Which is, describe how you can work out the group and the period of an element by knowing the number of electrons it contains. And that's worth four marks.